Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Pikmin! Last time, we found a couple more ship parts in the distant spring, I almost called it the Forest Naval again. And we lost yet another group of Pikmin to some very stupid Pikmin AI. Apparently the Reds decided they wanted to have a pool party! Thankfully, we managed to up our numbers once again, and uh, as you can see, our Pikmin numbers are sitting pretty high, and the Reds have a pretty nice number if I do say so myself. Today, we're going to be heading back to the Distant Spring, exploring a bit more of the interior of the Spring, as well as hopefully snagging the last four ship parts that are here. If not, and I do have to come back for one more day, then it, who knows, maybe it'll just be more of a Pikmin number building day instead of anything else. Alright. So, starting off, uh, let's get ourselves an assortment of... I want to go about this. I don't think we really need yellows for a while, so you know what? Just because we do have a bit of a boss fight ahead. I want to get 60 reds with me. I want 60 reds and 40 blues. Yellows, you guys thankfully have the day off, so count yourselves lucky. And from the looks of things, only a couple leaves, no buds. Oh, no, wait, I see a bud. Alright, well... If that's the case, might as well go get a morning snack. Thankfully, all the bull bears are still dead, so I don't have to worry about uh, them harassing us as we get our breakfast. Ooh, and speaking of breakfast, it's already right here waiting for us. Hey, you guys actually found something over here. Cool. Alright, looks like everybody's a flower at this point, which is good on my end, although I won't uh, be guessing that one of you guys is going to trip and fall flat on your face. Alright, so... Okay, listen, it was good the first time. You know what, you guys can leave those there in case we do need to just decide to get some more flowers for our group. Alright, so the way I want to go about this is we're going to split our Pikmin up. Red team, you're coming with me. We're going to go fight ourselves a boss fight. It is a boss fight that is basically a reused boss fight from the Forest of Hope. It is, once again, yet another armor cannon beetle. And he already looks very angry. Yes, he does. Oh, boy! Alright, we're going to wait for him to turn his back before we go in there. I didn't want to have a repeat of our first fight with the Cannon Beetle. Right in here. Okay, there we go. Come on. Suck up one of our Pikmin. Go around behind. And just lay into the bum. Oh, oh nice! We once cycled him. I've discovered the bowsprit. With this piece installed, my ship shall regain some of its sleek shape. Well, not bad. Honestly, that was more than enough of a makeup for how bad the armored cannon beetle fight went back in the Force of Hope. So, we'll have the Reds start working on getting that little bridge going downwards, and then we'll have them working on the wall that's down there as well. I don't. I think, okay, no, there's a couple sheer wakes down there, but thankfully we can take care of them easily. So while they're working on that, we're going to take our blues over here, and we're going to deal with this jerk while he's low to the ground. Or until he can fly out of bounds. Now, that's just not fair at all. Come on, come on. Get, gotta play fair in the rules of war. Just knock him out of the sky. Come on. What does it take to knock you out of the sky? Holy hell. Probably would have been a lot better if I brought, like, maybe, like, ten yellows with me. There we go. Now we're getting a lot more on to him. He's not even really being a threat or a nuisance, he's just more so just kind of pathetically letting me wail on him. I was about to say, you better drop some pellets for me. 
Well, he did manage to deflower some of my Pikmin, so at least we got the, that morning snack. All right, let's just sneak around here. You guys working on this wall, and while you actually have the Sheerwig's attention, let's use the blues to flank him from behind and come up for, with a sneak attack. Come on, come on, knock him out of the sky. I'm having such a bad time knocking enemies out of the sky. There we go. Blues, blues, blues. There we go. All right, Reds are working on that. We don't have to worry about the sheer wigs. So now let's get this shit part that's over. Get! Uh, of course it, it's a flower. Of course. Why wouldn't it be a flower? All right. Uh, yeah, you're waddling around over here. I'm gonna need you to come on over here. Come on. Come on. Follow the loud whistle. That's right, flop. Come on. Can you flop for me once more? There we go. All right. Now that he's distracted, let's get you guys over here and get something that is honestly kind of hilarious in how it's actually a ship part that's a requirement for the ship to lift off. At last, my pilot seat! Once I get this installed, my cockpit will finally be back in order. Soon my ship will be starting to look more and more like the dolphin of old. Ah, the memories. Yes, like I said, Olimar needs his chair if he wants to actually lead the planet in one piece. I was actually wrong when it came to it being either this or the massage machine. Granted, I feel like the massage machine would have been a better choice than a pilot seat. Hell, actually, the pilot seat should have been an optional ship part to begin with, and the Nova Blaster should have been the requirement ship part. Alright. Just let it go. Just let it go. Doesn't bug me. Doesn't bug me. Doesn't bug me at all. Just let you guys grab the bowsprit. You guys can take the beetle carcass. I even have enough. distributed and hey our blues made it back with our pilot seat I feel like that should have been something you could see like popping inside the cockpit picturing this in the cockpit images of me lifting off into space begin to fill my tax brain it fills me with inspiration once again because of course it, all pilots need a comfortable seat when they lift off into the lower atmosphere All right. Oh, I guess a couple of blues grabbed a sure wig and brought it back home. All right, that's fine. Uh, you guys deserve a nice snack. All right, come on, guys. All right, what are we still missing in terms of ship parts? We got the bow sprit, which is right there. Got the pilot seat. Oh, right, those two. Uh, if we play our cards right, we might actually be able to get them. Uh, one's actually... Actually, both of them are kind of pretty puzzle-heavy in terms of how to get them. I'm wondering if I even have enough blues to get both of them at the same time. I don't think they're both really heavy ship parts, so we should be able to get uh, through with the, with the blues we have. I just need to take care of the water dumples, and wow, I actually never noticed that there was a bomb rock dispenser over here. Alright, come on, guys. Wow, you guys, oh god, you gave four Pikmin. Yeah. An interesting thing about the water dumples in this version of Pikmin, uh, for whatever reason, in Pikmin 1, which is the only Pikmin that, uh, I can't say we're the only Pikmin to show up in, but uh, Pikmin 1, they are the only time you will see water dumples with whiskers. 
which maybe it's just because of the location, maybe they're just like an off-brand species of it, but in every other Pikmin game, the anytime you see a water dumple, they don't have whiskers on them. The so-called face of the dolphin. In point of fact, I designed it. I designed it after a Pokeball. 27 out of 3 parts, just two more and we'll be able to get the ship's capabilities enough to visit a new area. Guys? What? Uh, let's try this again. You guys, just go up there. Drop you off. Hop up here. I think we have enough, or maybe more than enough. Yep. Should be enough. Toss you guys on over here. 15. 10, 2, 3, 4. One more. Come on, make it. Uh, of course you wouldn't make it. Just need one of you over there. All right, Jerry. You were built to fly. Yes, you were also built to breathe, but you know what? You can fly. There we go. All right. They got that on the way. And what is it that they found? Well, they found yet another ship part, which is... My number two Ionium jet. It's easy on the eyes, and its fuel efficiency is easy on the budget. Well, it's the first thing Olimar's had to do that was easy on the budget. Now let's just throw the remainder of you guys up there. And this is actually next to the Libra. Uh, this is probably like the second like puzzle-heavy uh, ship part in the entire game. So we actually are getting used to the candy pop bug right here, and we're just gonna just throw all our blues into it. Don't let the sound of uh, the Pikmin make uh, scare you, because they don't actually get killed. They just get converted into the color of the bud. So, now that they're all yellows, as you can see, sitting up there is yet another ship part. And I'm wondering if I'm going to even get that part back to the ship in time. The Ionium Jet should definitely be able to make it back in time, unless the Pikmin run into some trouble, but they shouldn't, so long as they follow the correct path and actually go past where all the bull bears were. Oops. Just because I'm a worried parent. Okay, yeah, they're almost back to base camp, anyways. I'm gonna take our yellows. I'm gonna throw them onto this little island right here. In fact, I'm gonna play it safe. Take those guys, throw them up here, and hopefully I have enough Pikmin to do this. 20 Pikmin. We got half over there, and I think we have 10 sitting up there as well, or maybe more than 10. It looks so awkward just sitting on that piece right there. We need to find the part to cover up that section. The ads for these jet boos boast that with excellent mileage, that's easy on the family budget. This jet will keep your wife smiling and propel you to a happy home life. Just one more part and we'll be able to increase our ship's capabilities. And that last part is sitting right here. I don't think we're going to be able to get it today, but we should be able to at least get it to a, a position where it'll be easier for us to get it tomorrow. In fact, I'm actually going to do something that, that will actually be pretty beneficial for us. Okay, good. Just enough Pikmin for this. I'm gonna call you guys off. And found my Kronos Reactor. Using strange new technology, this, this machine is able to warp the space-time continuum and turn it into energy. I am constantly amazed at how many mysteries are locked inside the parts of my ship. Yes, literally able to convert space-time into fuel. My, the wonders of technology never cease to amaze me. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, what we were supposed to do is, we were supposed to, you know, turn them into yellows, throw them onto this island, then throw the yellows up to there. And then use the candy pop bud down here to turn them back into blue so they can safely return it back to the ship. However, I don't think these guys are gonna be able to make it back in time. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just gonna throw these yellows back into the candy pop bud and let them just stay planted in the ground around here. That way they're safe from the nocturnal creatures and by the time that I get back to around here for, for tomorrow, uh, they'll be, uh, hopefully either buds or flowers, so they can easily get this part back to the ship in time. Alright, 
So we're going to leave you guys in there. And I'm just going to start making my way back to the ship. Uh, actually, I'm getting kind of nervous. I think with the fact that it's inside the candy pop bud means that the Pikmin won't uh, die or get left behind. Fingers crossed, but it would be really stupid if that's the case. I think so long as they're inside the flower, they are safe. But watch, uh, Future Me is going to know the context to this and he's going to be laughing his ass off at just how... Ah, uh, guess what? The Shearwigs are getting one last midnight snack. Alright. Don't think we have enough time to get... Any, well, there's not even any leaves that we can blossom into flowers. So I guess we'll just wait out our time here. And unfortunately, I think thinking that uh, tomorrow's gonna be like day three since we've killed the bull bears and the wallywalks over there, they're gonna start coming back, as well as the swooping snitch bugs. Oh joy, do I look forward to having to deal with those guys again. What is going on with that red over there? He's like shaking his head, he's just like, no, no, I don't wanna leave, I don't wanna leave, I wanna swim. I don't care if I drown, I want to swim. Ah, <sighs> all those flowers bring a smile to my face. Okay, thankfully that yellow is safe inside the candy pop bud. Fourteen days since impact. It's been very strange. The scenery of this planet, which I once found hostile, now sometimes strikes me as surprisingly serene. Perhaps the Pikmin have opened my heart to the beauty of this world. I even started to think in that there were some parts that I do not need. A daydream. Who knows, maybe sometime in the future I'll find myself coming back to this planet time and time again. Alright. Now we lost four in battle, which was from the water dumple, but other than that, not a bad day to be honest. We got our yellow numbers up somehow. Hmm. Blues took a bit of a nosedive, but tomorrow, once we get all of the remaining ship part, I almost said ship parts, pl plural, uh, we'll just spend the time getting our blue numbers up as well as possibly some, I want to see if I can get up to at least like 500 reds and maybe 200 yellows and blues. That'll be a challenge for tomorrow. Either way, next time on Pikmin, we'll return back to the Distant Spring one last time to snag ourselves our final ship part in the area, and then begin the search for the, the final ship part, period. See you guys next time. Later. <laughs>